Alright, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to add multiple UV maps to objects. So the reason why I am making this is because I was making this engine for my spaceship over here and I wanted to have different UV maps for the displacement, like the panels displacement, and then I want to have a different UV map for the rust. So, uh, for example, I'm going to use a cube. So, like, once you have your object, they want to add the two UV maps to, go to the object data properties in the corner and add a UV map. Okay, now we can go into edit mode and we can unwrap both of them. So normally when you're using this you're probably giving them different uh, UV unwraps. So just for an example I gave the first one a normal unwrap and I gave the second one a, a UV smart project. It doesn't matter what you do, but it's just like what you want the uh, different maps to be. So once you have that, you can go into the shading tab and I'm going to add a new material to the cube and I'm going to kind of show you like what my example was. So what I did is I added a um, different UV map to the displacement texture and a different one for the color texture. So I'll just do that real quick. Um, so I'm going to add my panels displacement to that. And now I'm going to add, uh, so if you go into search, you can look for a UV map node. And this is actually where you can choose uh, which UV map you want. So I'm going to map the displacement to the first UV map. And then uh, I'm going to take this color, choose another random texture I have. I'll just do body rust. And then I'll plug in uh, the UV map node to that. And then under the UV map selection, I'm going to select my second UV map. So once you have that, uh, just to like show you how it's affecting it, I'm going to go into the UV editing mode. And um, so like if I go into object mode, you can see how uh, there's the displacement map and we've got the texture map. So if I go back into edit mode and I have... Uh, the first UV map selected, this is the one I mapped to the displacement. You can see if I scale up and down, it only affects the displacement. It does not affect the texture. And if I change the scale on the one with the texture map, it only affects the texture and not the displacement. So that was just my quick tutorial on how to have two UV maps on an object uh, later.